The coalition will have to win re-election if it is to deliver its long-touted surplus, which the budget tips to be $7. One billion next financial year. Treasurer Josh Frydenberg's first budget includes billions of dollars for tax cuts, major road upgrades and health care. One of the biggest savings measures is a plan to change how welfare recipients declare their incomes, which the government expects to add $2 billion to its coffers. But while the treasurer has trumpeted that the budget is back in the black, like Labour did when it was in power, the coalition has only forecast a surplus and has yet to deliver one. There had been speculation the government would attempt to deliver a surplus for the current financial year, but that has failed to eventuate. The 2018-19 financial year is projected to end with a $4.2 billion deficit. The budget forecasts surpluses in each year over the four estimates, reaching as high as $17. $8 billion in 2012-22. What budget 2019 means for you winners and losers live coverage of the federal budget analysis of the 2019 budget budget cheat sheet the treasurer said he was confident the budget could buffer economic headwinds hitting other economies, but confirmed there were risks on the horizon. The residential housing market has cooled, credit growth has eased and we are yet to see the full impact of flood and drought on the economy, Mr. Frydenberg said. Global trade tensions remain, the Chinese economy has slowed and there has been a loss of momentum in Japan, Europe and other advanced economies. The $7.1 billion forecast surplus for next year is up from the $4.1 billion that the government predicted in its mid-year budget update last December. The coalition heads into an election with $43 million in budgeted but unannounced spending measures for this financial year and more than double that for 2019-20. Net debt is forecast to be $360 billion next financial year, but the coalition is promising to eliminate it by 2030 if it retains government. Personal and business tax cuts The centerpiece of the budget is $158 billion in income tax cuts over a decade. The first part of the plan is immediate, which includes a doubling of the tax offset announced in last year's budget. The change means people earning up to $126,000 will get $1,080 back at tax time. The coalition will also seek to flatten tax brackets by 2024, cutting the 32.5% tax bracket to 30%. It would need to pass the parliament for the changes to be implemented, something Finance Minister Matthias Cormann said would have to happen after the election. The budget forecasts a 5% unemployment rate for the next four years, with wage growth tipped to grow from 2.
5% in 2018-19 to 3.5% by 2012-22. to Money for infrastructure and health care The coalition has also promised to spend $100 million on roads and rail over a decade. Mr. Frydenberg said the government was able to promise that because of the improved state of the budget, thanks in part to commodity prices and a boost in exports. The government has matched Labor's commitment to end a freeze on the Medicare rebate for GP visits from 1 July, as part of a $1. One billion primary health care plan. The coalition is pledging to spend the most money a government has ever spent on a royal commission, offering more than half a billion dollars to investigate the mistreatment and institutional abuse experienced by people with a disability. That funding sees the government agreeing to a call the Greens have long championed. The budget papers also show there has been a $1.6 billion underspend on the National Disability Insurance Scheme over the forward estimates. The coalition's slip into minority government last year meant the parliament was able to change laws for medical evacuations of refugees on Manus Island and Nauru. That prompted the coalition to reopen the Christmas Island Detention Center, which it said would prevent refugees from coming to the mainland. The budget papers show the government will spend $150 million this financial year and only $23 million in 2019-20 for regional processing on the island. There is no additional funding for future years. Senator Corman said that was because the coalition planned to change laws allowing the medical evacuations if it won the election. He said doing that would allow the government to again close the Christmas Island Detention Center. Business incentives to fill skills shortages The budget includes $525 million for a skills package, which in part is designed to help create 80,000 new apprenticeships in sectors with skills shortages. Businesses that hire apprentices in these industries will receive incentive payments worth $8,000 per placement. The program includes a $2,000 incentive payment for apprentices. The instant asset write-off scheme will be increased from $25,000 to $30,000, which businesses with an annual turnover of $50 million can use each time they purchase new assets. That policy will cost the budget $400 million over four years. Targeting tax dodgers and welfare overpayments The coalition plans to automate the income reporting processes for people on welfare payments. It expects that will generate $2.1 billion worth of savings over five years, at a cost of more than 200 jobs. A further $1 billion will go to the Australian Tax Office to crack down on the black market and to target multinational tax avoidance. The coalition expects that investment will return $2 billion to the government's bottom line. More on this story Treasurer Trumpet's budget is back in black.
but there's a catch find out if you're a winner of a loser in this year's budget this is a budget that won't die wondering, Annabelle crab your cheat sheet to understand where the budget money is going the treasurer is riding a gambler's luck, and wonder how much you'll save in tax if the coalition wins the election what's in the budget for business? See how Josh Frydenberg revealed his first budget in our live blog external link, submit a question to you ask, we answer contact Brett Worthington.